In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a burning effect in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, go to Select, choose Subject. Photoshop will select your subject automatically. Press Ctrl and J to copy it into a new layer. Hide this copy for now. Select the background layer, pick the lasso tool. Make a rough selection around your subject. Then right-click and choose Fill. Set it to Content Aware and click OK. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Unhide the subject layer you created earlier and make sure it is selected. Make another copy by pressing Ctrl and J and hide the new copy. Select the first subject layer. Go to Filter. Choose Liquify. Make sure the Forward Warp tool is active. Now stretch the edges outwards as shown. Once you're done, click OK. Add an inverted layer mask by holding Alt and clicking the Layer Mask button. Unhide the duplicate subject copy and select it and add a normal layer mask by pressing layer mask button. Now pick the brush tool. Go to brush settings and select the particle brush. You can find the download link for this brush in the description. Adjust the brush size with the bracket keys. Make sure this layer mask is selected and foreground color is set to black. And start brushing along the edges of the subject as shown. This creates the cracked, burned effect. Rotate and resize the brush occasionally to avoid repetition and make the cracks look more natural. You can temporarily hide the background layer so you can clearly see what you're doing. If you brush too much like I've done here, don't worry. Switch to soft round brush. Set the foreground color to white and paint over the areas you want to restore. Make sure you have something like this once you're done drawing the cracked effect. Now, select the inverted mask of the liquefied subject layer. Switch back to the particle brush. Set the foreground color to white. And brush around the edges again. These are scattered fire particles flying away from the subject. Don't draw too many particles, just make sure you have something like this once you're done drawing the scattered particles. Unhide the background layer once you're done drawing particles. Next, drag and drop the burning texture image onto the canvas. Place it above the subject, resize it and make sure it covers the face area as shown. Reduce opacity while placing so you can see through. Once you're done placing, increase opacity back to 100%. Right-click the texture layer and choose Create Clipping Mask so it only affects the subject. Add an inverted layer mask by holding Alt and clicking the Layer Mask button. Now pick the Brush tool. Select Soft Round Brush. Make sure this inverted layer mask is selected and foreground color is set to white. Set Brush Opacity to 50%. Now start painting on the subject's face and around the edges. This will reveal the burning texture in those areas making it look like the skin itself is catching fire. Now double-click the texture layer to open the blending options. In the underlying layer section, hold Alt and drag the right slider to the left as shown. This helps the texture blend more naturally into the skin. Then click OK. Next, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the texture layer. Right-click on its Layer Mask thumbnail and choose Delete Layer Mask. Then move it under the subject layer. Now resize and position the duplicate texture layer as shown. Now right-click and choose Create Clipping Mask to clip it to the scattered particles layer below so that they also take on the burning appearance. Now let's add some detail to the eye. Select Subject Layer. Zoom in on the subject's eye. Select the Quick Selection tool. 
and paint over the iris to select it. Click Select and Mask. Set the view to on black. And set the opacity to 100%. Adjust the global refinement sliders as shown. Then click OK. With the selection still active, click the Adjustment Layer button and choose Hue and Saturation. Set the blending mode of the Hue and Saturation layer to Saturation. In Hue and Saturation properties, enable Colorize. Set Hue to 40, Saturation to 100, and Lightness to 55. This gives the eye a bright, fiery look. Click the New Layer button to add a new layer. It's clipped automatically to the subject layer. Change its blending mode to Color Dodge. Choose the Brush Tool. Open the Color Picker. And select a dark yellow. Click OK. Set Brush Opacity back to 100%. Paint along the revealed burning texture's edges and also add a little glow to other parts of the face for believable fire lighting. Once you're done brushing, lower the layer's opacity to about 35%. Double-click this glow layer to open blending options. Uncheck Transparency Shapes layer. In the current layer section, hold the Alt key, split the right slider, and drag it to the left as shown to soften the blend. Click OK. Drag and drop the FireSparks image into the document so it sits on the very top. Resize and rotate it as needed. While positioning, you can momentarily reduce the layer opacity to see through it. Then return opacity to 100% once you're done. Change this Sparks layer's blending mode to Linear Dodge. Double-click the Sparks layer to open blending options. In the current layer section, hold Alt and split the left slider, dragging it to the right to hide the darkest parts and keep the bright sparks. Click OK. Add a layer mask to the Sparks layer. With the brush tool selected and foreground color set to black, Paint as shown to erase areas we don't want. Next, click the New Layer button to add a new layer, and drag this new layer under the Sparks layer. Change its blending mode to Soft Light, and reduce its opacity to about 25%. Open the Color Picker, and pick a dark yellow. Click OK. Now softly brush around the fire areas to add gentle yellow-orange light, spilling onto the subject and background. Create another new layer and drag it to the very top. Change its blending mode to overlay. Set both fill and opacity of the layer to 40%. Now with the brush tool selected, and color set to white. Paint as shown to add highlights and brightness. Now, press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E together to create a merged copy of all visible layers on a new layer while keeping your full layer stack intact underneath. Open the Filter menu and choose Camera Raw Filter. Set Contrast to 15. Texture to 10, Clarity to 10, and Dehaze to 10. You'll see the whole effect sharpen beautifully. Click OK. And that's it! You've created a burning effect in Photoshop. If this helped, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.